the bags were three dollars a piece so I was just stuffing what I could find on the tables that was vintage into the bags <laughs> Welcome back to Rockabilly Raven Vintage. My name is Randy. I am the owner of the store and I want to welcome you to my channel. Today we have a haul video and this haul video came from a rummage sale. Like who even has a rummage sale in 2020, right? Luckily it was the American Cancer Society in our county. So they were taking temperatures at the door, contact information, masks are required gloves were required like i was very very impressed with our local little rummage sale so we went and it was bag sale day so every bag paper bag was three dollars right three dollars so i got five of them five bags full of awesome goodies to share with you. So let's dig in. All right, so one full paper bag was designated for vintage pillows. I filled up a bag with these really beautiful rust brown vintage pillows. It's got a cool little metal zipper matched pair it's going to be awesome for the fall also this fantastic 1950s camp pillow um, again metal zipper here on that um, it's a nice full pillow and it's just a great centerpiece especially in the fall uh, for for your couch scape i don't know if that's a word i don't know if i just made that up but if i did that was a pretty good word. Next, I got an entire bag of bedding and linens. So uh, the linens, I'm not going to get super deep into them. I'm just going to show them to you real quick so we can get into clothes. Uh, got some vintage napkins that I'm going to turn into a pillow. More beautiful bright colored uh, linen napkins and some more orange ones. I love orange. I like bright colors. I also found this really beautiful wool uh, baby receiving blanket. It had really sweet little embroidery on it um, and a dust fuzzy. There is that. I'm a little sensitive since I got a phone call from my own mother who lives on the other side of the country to tell me that Rainy Joe, that one dress in that one haul video, you know, the one with the pattern across it. Yeah, there's a stain on it. And I was like, thanks mom. I know. All right. So the rest of this paper bag is full of World War II and Korean War wool blankets. I got two or three of them. And maybe if I can get it out, there we go. So these are military issue blankets. They're great colors. Um, they're very hot in this August weather. Um, you might be wondering what I do with those um, wool blankets. My family and I do the SCA, which is living history here in the United States. And I use those wool blankets to create clothing and other effects for our living history encampment. All right, so uh, the fourth bag that I picked up, my son went to this rummage sale with me. Uh, he was a great help and he filled up a bag with things for himself. That was one of the bags uh oh it wouldn't have been bag number four it would have been bag number three math uh but he got really cool vintage leather jacket and some men's clothing he's 17. so that was bag number three bag number four has vintage clothing in it 
I'll get to the clothes in a second. Last bag is bag number five, full of Christmas stuff. I, I don't know, like, I love Christmas. I love Christmas things. I mean, they were just so cute. Little vintage Christmas stuff. I got some like Christmas linens. If you guys would want to see that, send me a message down below and maybe I'll do a haul video that's just Christmas. So, we're gonna pause here so that I can go get the glass thing. So, in the pillow bag was also this very, very awesome amethyst purple, probably in poly vintage decanter bottle. Um, it's missing its cool flame tip top, but I have this pattern in like three colors. So I might add the purple. I might not, I might sell it, but this was a super fantastic find last bag bag number five we have clothing and i feel some glass things down here in the bottom so i'm gonna quit flipping this bag around so hard didn't get a lot of clothes but I did find some really cool pieces found a great high-waisted men's windbreaker it's got a great flap in the back really really nice piece it is a little bit larger which is always great here is the tag great metal zipper here in the front I love this color so if it doesn't look too boyish on me I might keep this and wear this one otherwise I'll put it in the store found this really awesome high-waisted 1950s men's jacket it's a uniform jacket and we live in Ohio, so it happens to be a really heavy duty one. But what's super cool about it is still has the logo on the back. And I think it's, I think it's Hartman. Hardman drilling, Hardman drilling. Really cool piece. Um, it, like I said, it's a uniform jacket, uh, really great tag. Um, probably, 50s, 60s, again, larger size. I was super excited to find this. Um, it's sort of a, I don't know if you guys can see it, sort of a evergreen color and for fall, I just thought that was really fantastic. Really fantastic. Next in our haul bag, uh, I'm gonna go through these kind of fast. Great 1970s vintage tank top really really nice polyester it's a medium size Ooh, i can't believe i just dropped that there you go there's that awesome 1970s collared shirt so good so good this one is uh probably a medium to a large tag is washed out and i can't see it but I love this contrasting green. That's going to just look awesome with high-waisted pants. All right, this one is so much fun. Look at this sweater. Ah, look at my little owl. So, really great 1980s sweater. There is that tag and that one. Like I said, the bags were $3 a piece, so... I was just stuffing what I could find on the tables that was vintage into the bags. That's why it's very haphazard. Found a skirt set, really great little 1960s skirt and fabulous, like, ugh, look at this top. Oh my gosh, isn't it amazing? Look at the fabric. This is homemade, I'm gonna guess, but it is just glorious. It's so tiny, look how small it is. Oh, so good. It is just a great, great set. I was super excited to find that. Found a 1980s, oh yeah. Absolutely fantastic sleeveless sweater. 
It is silk and rayon. It's a good size. There's your tag. I love like the question mark and the division and oh, just all the symbols on it. Oh, that's so cool. Found a great men's cardigan, brown cardigan. Think sort of Fred Rogers, but in brown. Uh, it has really awesome buttons. Do you need to come downstairs? It's okay. Yeah. My son is going to creep around the camera. Come on. I was just talking about you. Hey. <laughs> Okay. Talking about your love you kid. Love you. All right, so brown cardigan, good size. That would actually look really good on my son. All right, found a beautiful 1990s, kind of does 50s, uh, just a black sleeveless sweater with this beautiful beadwork here. Um, I think it's just Jones of New York. Yeah, like I said, it's just a little 90s thing. Really nice. Real vintage looking. Kind of fantastic. Also, I uh, found a slip. Not too bad. Oh, really good size. I think it's a... Nope, I thought it was Vanity Fair, but it's not. Tricked me. There is your tag. There is that. Alright, we're digging. Digging down into the bottom. See what we got. Ooh, I hear glass. All right, all right, all right. Hey, I found some more linen napkins. All right, so down here in the bottom of our bag are a couple of glass pieces. Let me show them to you. Since, since I just pulled them out. Look at this little planner guy. Isn't he cute? probably just a little McCoy planter. I'm going to keep him. Uh, I wish I could find the little Dutch girl that goes with them because I collect little Dutch boy, little Dutch girl pieces. There, he can sit right there. And then I found this little picture and it's that Celadon green. Oh, I love it. Love it. Uh, nope, no marks. So really great. Look how it's real vin yeah, vintage, real vintage, real petite is what I was trying to say and killing my color. But those were the two glass pieces that I found. Continuing on with clothing, I found a really awesome vest. I sell a lot of vests. This is just a 1980s plus size vest. It's really great for steampunk. And last but not least is a fabulous 1970s polyester blouse. It's a Judy Bond. We all know that I love Judy Bond. It's a good size. Is it marked? I think it's marked small, but look, it's huge. Huh? I don't think that's a small. Doesn't matter. It's still pretty cool. I also picked up a macrame handbag which I thought was really cool just a nice little vintage piece uh, it's not as old as it looks it's probably from the 80s or the 90s it's not a true macrame piece from like the 70s so um, all in all we spent $15 at the rummage sale. I gave him a 20 because it was all for the Cancer Society. Um, the last little awesome thing that I have is these awesome sunglasses. I'm gonna take the little shields off the side, but like they're yellow. I love sunglasses. And, and that's it my friends. I have no idea how I managed to get through that haul that fast, but hey, we're going to take it because normally I talk forever. So I hope you guys have been blessed by this video. I know that your presence here has blessed me. And if I am lucky, you will come back and see me again soon in the next video. But until then, I hope you have a great day and take care. Bye.